Hey guys, so I'm just doing a quick part two because I was talking about the ketogenic diet. My freaking phone stops working in the middle of chaos. Hello, Zs! And I was like, okay, I just gotta end that video. So if you see a one and you see a man's Chinese theater, now this is the number two. Four. Plus fence, yeah. Okay, so what's the deal? All right. Well, I was talking about epigenetic gene expression therapy. The reason why I talk about it is because everybody thinks that they are just, Stephanie, you, your body looks the way it looks because of your genetics. And I'm like, no, it's the way I express my genes. Don't get it twisted, you guys. It's all about epigenetic gene expression therapy. And how you do that business is you learn how to methylate and you get right up in here. Because if you're not right in your mind, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you are not gonna preserve that DNA because your DNA sits like on a shoestring and on the ends of those shoestrings you have these telomeres and those things preserve your DNA and every time you do something stupid, as I can say, you destroy your DNA. Yeah? And it depends on what your mother ate and your grandmother, through the mother, through the egg. That's how genetics work. The mother's the, the female generation to the first Eve. It's so freaking fascinating. So if I want to kind of rebound from anything stupid that my grandmother did when she was younger, then I have to take control of my genetics today. If I don't have this body and I'm not looking this way at 47 because of genetics, no! I'm this way because of the way I've expressed my genes. I've taken all the control to learn how to methylate and to have methyl groups go around my body and go to the cells and turn off bad genes that are going to make me sick and tired and fat and diseased. And we don't want that. No! So what's the dealio, you guys? The whole point is, I keep saying, if you want to try to methylate, you've got to have B12 and you've got to have folate. But you can't just take a folate supplement because the body won't absorb it. You've got to get your folic acid through your nutrition. Everybody's looking for a quick fix. And I will do whatever it takes to preserve my DNA so as I go from 47 to friggin' 50, I'm gonna be strong as an ox, my brain's gonna be running on ketones, and I will not be sick and tired like most of these people are. Yes, they are. Every single, even the youngins, have some type of issue because our bodies are being inundated with toxins. You know what the big deal is? You know what the big deal is? This is why, where is it? This is the, the block that everybody comes to see, right? Because I'm on the boulevard. Okay, you guys. So I just wanted to get to it. Oh, my boy is cute. Really. Um, why the ketogenic diet is so amazing? Because to get into a state of ketosis, you got to do everything right or it won't work. So if you're doing things right, you're going to get your B12. You're going to get your folic acid. You're going to get your magnesium. You're going to do things like bone broth soup. You're going to get your sleep in order. You're going to change your personality because you're going to give up those foods that will create health issues to your cells, to your DNA. And you won't be able to methylate. And you won't be able to get stronger as you get older. You'll just get sick, fat, and ugly on the inside. I'm not pointing out anybody here. I just, you know, this is such a great spot to do videos because we get everybody. You get every age, every gender, every ethnicity on the planet. And you can see those who are young, whose cells haven't been obliterated yet through advanced glycation end product, and those who are about to just kind of, they're already there. I love this stuff. I'm such a geek about the body and how awesome it is. And also how funky I am. I should be like one of these people out in the back where they have, we have all these characters. Like, where's Jabba? Jabba's somewhere around here. Where's Jabba? Jabba, there's, wait, wait, Jabba, Jabba, Jabba. Oh, there's Jabba. See Jabba? And I've got my Star Wars pants. Yeah, again, it's Jabba. all 
Google. Perfect. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to do a, a never short video, or no, do a quickie about like the benefits of the ketogenic diet. I keep talking about epigenetics and about methylation, but I'm not really tying it together on the ketogenic diet. So the ketogenic diet, you're going to cut your carbs down, you're going to up your fats, and you're going to have a moderate protein. But it's not just about having those macro percentages. The protein is going to be grass-fed, right? My eggs are going to be pasture. They're going to be free-range. I'm going to have healthy, healthy protein. My fats are going to be saturated fats from healthy animals. It's going to be coconut oil. It's going to be avocados. My my vegetables, my, my carbohydrates are going to come from, from cruciferous vegetables, organic, none of that nasty, toxic, friggin' Um, what is it? Blah, 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 blah. Pesticides, herbicides, all that junk on it that messes with your methylation process and clips off your DNA, makes you age very rapidly. And that is what it is about, y'allzers. Okay, so um, you, if I can drive ketogenesis and get my brain to accept units of fat, then when I'm not eating, my body goes to the belly restaurant and has a meal. And because of that, you guys, I'm preserving my DNA. Because when my glycogen gas tank, my carb gas tank is empty, my body doesn't freak out. I don't have these like signals. Oh my God, gorge on McDonald's or gorge on something sugary or go to soda. Like there is none of that reaction because my body, when it needs nutrition, it knows how to go and feed on ketones, which are units of fat that are converted in the old liver. So that is what is the point about anti-aging and the ketogenesis. All of you guys are developing, auto, not everybody, but some and some kind of lower, higher level people develop autoimmune disorder, and there's a million of them. Because if I go around and start asking everybody, what do you got? They'll be like, I got this, I got that. Even something down to arthritis. Something about like, or even like a crick in the neck, or stomach aches, or headaches, or bad menstrual cycle, or no menstrual cycle. Blah, blah, blah. There's a million things, guys. So that's why I wanted to connect why it's so important, and you can't refeed. It's like you gotta choose one island or the other because you can't go back and forth because that can go ahead and cater to your metabolic derangement, right? Where your adrenals are overtaxed, your reproductive system is overworked, and your thyroid gland is freaking out. We don't want that. And then our gut is all gooped up. You have to pick and choose which side you're gonna be on. Paleo, close to keto, sort of in the whole foods concept. But driving ketones to be used puts your body in this nice, cooled off, lovely balance. And it, it, the brain where serotonin has been like down regulating, yo, your serotonin starts learning how to get right back up to where it should be so you don't go through the mood disorder, depression like a lot of people go through 